This video looks at adding plant items and fittings. So we will have determined the index run pressure drop from the information based on the pipe runs that we've imported and, and, and routed. What we would then do is go up into the insert menu into the plant items listing and decide on the plant item, namely a pump. We go for a twin pump. This brings our pump information onto the screen. We can put our pump reference on the circuit that it's serving. We then have the mounting of the pump. If it's horizontal, that means it's mounted on a wall with a spindle horizontal to the floor. If it's vertical, it's mounted probably at floor level with a spindle of the motor vertical. If it's in a riser, then it's mounted in a riser again with a motor spindle perpendicular to the floor. We can then put our manufacturer in here. Other pumps are available. We can put costs, we can put weights in there, and also electrical details. This allows the electrical guys, when applying electrical software design, they can reveal the pump position, they can select the load and add this particular pump to the distribution board and add that in turn into the electrical schematic layouts. So I'm going to put 10 amps with a power factor and again the voltage, frequency and the size of the fuse protecting that circuit. We then place the pump, that puts the pump on the end of our mouse cursor we put the cross on the pipe, click once, and that then correctly positions our pump and points the pump arrows in the right direction, implying that's the flow. If we wish to edit or retrieve any data for that pump, we can double click on it, and that reveals the pump information again, which we can then edit. Adding valves is a very similar process. You can either add manual or Motorized valves, selecting the valves option, selecting the valve that you want. You can use default K value, or you can enter your own K value, along with many other parameters. You can see here you've got a motorized option. Should it be motorized, enter the tick box, and that will then invoke the electrical tab so the load can be applied. Place the valve, click once. And that arranges it along the length of the pipe. Place again, place again, if I want to insert a commissioning set and other valves on my return, quite simple, just select another selection from the listing, selecting the commissioning set, I'll place this on the high level pipe work, it will choose the pipe run that you're looking at, that then places the commissioning set at high level. Then again, I can put my isolating valves either side of that commissioning set. Again, these valves can be edited by double clicking on them. Again, the valves can be edited by double-clicking on them and bringing up the appropriate details. 